another force that is diminishing our freedoms? Well, another force which I think is very strongly operative in this country is the force of what may be called over-organization. Uh, as technology becomes more and more complicated, it becomes necessary to have more and more elaborate uh, organizations, more hierarchical organizations. And incidentally, the advance of uh, technology has been accompanied by an advance in the science of organization. It's now possible to make organizations on a larger scale than was ever possible before. And so that you have more and more people living their lives out as subordinates in these hierarchical systems controlled by bureaucracies, either the bureaucracies of big business or the bureaucracies of big government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the devices that you were talking about, are there specific devices or uh, uh, methods of communication which diminish our freedoms in addition to overpopulation and overorganization? Well, there are certainly devices which can be used in this way. I mean, let us uh, take uh, after all, a piece of very recent and very painful history is the uh, propaganda used by Hitler, which was incredibly effective. I mean, that, what were Hitler's methods? Hitler used terror on the one kind, brute force on the one hand, but he also used a very efficient uh, form of, uh, of propaganda, which uh, uh, he was using every modern device at that time. He didn't have TV, but he had the the radio, which he used to the fullest extent, mm -hmm. and was able to uh, impose his will on an immense mass of people. I mean, the Germans were a highly educated people. Well, we're aware of all this, but how do you equate Hitler's use of propaganda with the way that propaganda, if you will, is used, let us say, here in the United States? Well, Are you suggesting that uh, there no, is a parallel? Needless to say, it's not being used in this way now. But uh, I, I, the point is, it seems to me, that there are, are methods at present available, methods superior in some respects to, to Hitler's method, which could be used in a bad situation. I mean, I, what I feel very strongly is that we mustn't be caught by surprise by our own advancing technology. This has happened again and again in history. With technology has advanced, and this changes social conditions. And suddenly people have found themselves in a situation which they didn't foresee and doing all sorts of things they didn't really want to do. Well, now, what do you mean? Do you mean that we, we develop our television, but we don't know how to use it correctly? Is that the point that you're making? Well, at present, the television, I think, is being used uh, quite harmlessly. It's being used, I think, uh, I would feel it's being used too much to distract everybody all the time. But, I mean, imagine, which must be the situation in all communist countries, where the television, where it exists, is always saying the same thing the whole time, is always driving along. It's not creating a wide front of distraction, it's creating a one-pointed uh, drumming in of a single idea all the time. It's obviously an immensely powerful instrument. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about the potential misuse of the instrument. Uh, exactly. We have, of course, uh, all technology is in itself morally neutral. These are just powers which can either be used well or ill. It's the same thing with atomic energy. We can either use it to blow ourselves up, or we can use it as a substitute for the coal and the oil which are running out. You've 